Hello students, in the previous uh, class we have discussed about charging by contact. Now I am going to explain about charging by induction. Charging by induction. For this, I take two metal spheres like this. These two metal spheres are kept being held with the help of insulating stone. This is nothing but insulating stone. Why we should keep an insulating stone? Because the amount of excess amount of charge will flow into the earth surface if there is no insulating stone. Clear? This is nothing but insulating stone. And this is nothing but metal sphere. Metal sphere. I am taking another metal sphere that is in contact with the first metal sphere like this. And this is also being held with the help of insulating stone like this. Insulating stone like this. So initially the two metal spheres are neutral charges. They are neutrally charged. Because we know the metals are nothing but being made of atoms <coughs> or molecules. Each atom consist of equal number of positive charges and equal number of negative charges. So total amount of charge on the atoms is equal to zero. So that initially two metal spheres are neutrally charged. Okay. Now I am bringing a glass rod, positively charged glass rod near to sphere A. Let us consider this is a sphere A. Sphere A and this is a sphere B. Okay. When when a positively charged glass rod is kept near to the metal surface, metal sphere A. I am not uh, keeping this glass rod in contact with sphere. Not in contact with the sphere. It is kept to some distance away from the metal spheres. So that the negative charges, this uh, metal sphere having some positive charges and negative charges. Positive charges are tightly packed inside the nucleus. Isn't it right? And loosely bound negative charges will be attracted towards to the metal rod. Sorry, glass rod. And positive charges are being accumulated on the right side of sphere B. Positive charges will be accumulated on the right side of sphere B. Why? Because these positive charges attracts the negative charges that are inside the metal sphere. Okay. And so when these positive negative charges are being attracted towards to the positive charged glass rod and negative charges are being repelled by this by this glass rod so that they will form on the right side of the sphere b and negative charges uh, will be formed on the left side of the sphere a this process of accumulation occurs until the force exerted by positive charge and the negative charge is nothing but attractive force. Until this attractive force equal and opposite to this force exerted by negative charges on the rest of the negative charges of the spheres. So this is the like these are like charges. So this will be the repulsive force. So accumulation of negative charges on the left side of the metal sphere A occurs until until this force of attraction is equal and opposite to force of repulsion. That means until net force is equal to zero. Until it acquires equilibrium position. Okay. Le negative charges will keep on accumulating onto the left side of sphere A until the spheres get equilibrium position. Okay. Now, these positive charges will be accumulated on the right side of the sphere B. Now, 
Now, what I am doing here, now slowly negative charges will be accumulated here and positive charges will be accumulated here. Now I am separating the spheres A and B. Separating the spheres A and B. Next case. Now, in this case, they are not in contact with each other. Now, I am separating the spheres. After accumulation, after equilibrium position, I am separating the spheres A and sphere B by keeping a glass rod near to sphere A. So, when the glass rod is near to sphere A, all the negative charges will be accumulated here and the deficiency of negative charges occurs in the sphere B. Deficiency of negative charges means positive charges exist on the right side of the, the sphere B. Okay, now remove this glass rod. Now in the next situation, in next situation, I am removing the glass rod near the sphere A and uh, so that Right. I am removing the remove glass rod here so that this negative charge will be redistributed equally on all sides of the sphere like this. Okay. So that sphere A will get positive negatively charged. Sphere A will get negatively charged and uh, sphere B will get positively charged positively charged in this case i am not keeping the glass rod in contact with the sphere a or sphere b okay so <coughs> just keeping the glass rod positively charged glass rod near to sphere a so that this positive charges attracts the negative charges and these two spheres are in contact with each other the free electrons available in this sphere also transfer to sphere a because they are in contact with each other all the negative charges will be accumulated on the left side of the charges until until equilibrium occurs and all the positive charges will be accumulated on the right side of the sphere b until equilibrium occurs now i am separating these two spheres by keeping glass rod closer to sphere A, closer to sphere A, not in contact with sphere A. So that negative charges will be accumulated on the left side of the sphere A and positive charges will be accumulated on the right side of the sphere B. Now I am removing the glass rod, removing the glass rod in this situation. If I remove the glass rod, these negative charges will be redistributed in the sphere A and positive charges will be redistributed in the sphere B like this. That means this uh, sphere A will become negatively charged and uh, sphere will be, 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 B will become positively charged. So this process is called as charging by charging by induction, not uh, charging by contact charging by induction. In this case, the two bodies are not in contact with each other. Now, now, how can you, my question is, my question is, how can you charge a metal sphere positively how can you charge a metal sphere metal sphere positively without touching it without touching it so i am taking a sphere I am taking a sphere like this and this is nothing but uh, insulating stone 
insulating storm, keeping on the insulating storm like this. And initially, this uh, metal sphere is neutral charge. I would like to make it positively charged without touching it, positively charged. Let me just to make it a positively charged. See, first, I need to, uh, I need to get the negatively charged rod, that is plastic rod, near to the, near to the sphere, neutral sphere. The sphere that is no problem with these negative charges attracts the positive charges in the sphere and repel the negative charges onto the right side of the metal sphere like this. Okay, all the negative charges will be repelled towards the right of the metal sphere so that here you will see deficiency of electrons. So deficiency of electrons means a positive charges. Here in this place you will come to see that positive charges accumulated on the left side of the sphere. Now in third case, now in third case, right, by keeping the plastic rod near to it, near to it, we have seen already that all the positive charges are accumulated. That means positive charges means not protons. Deficiency of electrons is nothing but positive charge. All the positive charges are seen here and negative charges are appeared on the right side of the sphere. And this uh, right side of the sphere is being connected to earth. So that all the free electrons, excess electrons, all the free electrons will move into the earth surface. All the free electrons will move into the earth surface. Now, remove the earth connection. So, earth connection remove you will see a positive charges here when a plastic rod is near to it. Negatively charged plastic rod is near to it. Now, remove this, remove this plastic rod as well. So if you remove this plastic rod like this, if you remove this uh, plastic rod, remove these positive charges will be redistributed throughout the sphere. Will be redistributed throughout the sphere. That means now the sphere is positively charged by, by induction. This is another example of Charging by induction. Charging by induction. Thank you students. We will continue tomorrow. Have a nice day. Bye bye.